Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, who look at shells, guys, like service, peasants, vassals, minions. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome and good morning. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about Libya. And we now have uh, a claimed presence of uh, ISIS in Libya. And uh, the reason why this is uh, interesting is because, uh, of course, there is no, uh, not necessarily any huge uh, transfer of presence of ISIS from uh, Iraq and Syria into Libya. Uh, rather, we have uh, militias and jihadist groups and extremists who now, uh, because of the notoriety and credibility they get, will now become affiliates of ISIS. And uh, that's why this is an interesting development. Uh, we've seen this before. Al-Qaeda Al barely existed. And once the concept and the mythology was created, once Al-Qaeda began having a number of successes, of course, uh, militant jihadist groups stretching from uh, Southeast Asia to North Africa and all across the Middle East all of a sudden became Al-Qaeda affiliates. Like I say, it gave them credibility and notoriety. And, and we're going to see that same uh, sort of development uh, now. And uh, we've seen a lot of uh, different militant groups in both Syria and Iraq, of course, ch change their allegiances and become uh, associated with ISIS and claim um, allegiance to ISIS. And we have elements uh, across the, the Middle East, including Pakistan now, uh, having some sort of uh, claims of allegiance to ISIS. But uh, in Libya, it's become interesting because we have some of these ISIS elements who are now having successes. Uh, this Libya Dawn, as a matter of fact, is part of this new wave of Islamists who are affiliating with ISIS and leaving the uh, old Al-Qaeda uh, brand behind. So that's interesting in itself that we have all these groups trading in their previous uh, allegiances to Al-Qaeda because Al-Qaeda is old news and now they're associating with uh, ISIS. But uh, Libya Don, uh, back in August of 2014, took control of the U.S. Embassy compound in Benghazi. So uh, ironic development uh, there. And uh, so now, now technically several towns in Libya are under ISIS-affiliated groups. In fact, Libyan Prime Minister Abdullah Althini who uh, basically is in charge of jack shit right now, uh, claimed last week that groups loyal to ISIS, uh, such as uh, Libya Dawn, are in control of several towns, including Dema. And uh, there's already reports of public executions. So um, it'll be interesting to see if we have uh, uh, successes of ISIS-affiliated groups in Libya, uh, and then the mythology becomes a reality, because if they do uh, get a foothold there, then certainly we could see transfer of uh, ISIS elements from Syria and Iraq uh, to end up in Libya to uh, get a foothold there. And uh, we have a number of, uh, of these uh, militant groups who are claiming associations with ISIS, uh, always with uh, pretty interesting names. Ansar al-Sharia, uh, Likba bin Nafi Brigade, Ukba, the Islamic Caliphate in the Islamic Maghreb, al Uma Brigade and al Batar. Uh, so there's a, a, a several uh, now uh, militant groups who are just part of the jihadist Al Qaeda axis uh, previously who are now uh, associates and, and uh, pledging allegiance to ISIS. And um, so it's, I can't imagine at any uh, point in the future uh, Western powers, including NATO and the U.S., who get re-involved in Libya, but we de definitely have an interesting dynamic there. A country that's completely descended into chaos since the NATO operation and now finds itself in utter chaos uh, with its government uh, basically being in charge of nothing while the, the country itself is divided up between uh, 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 anti-jihadi uh, uh, former government forces under uh, General Hafter uh, and then uh, all these various uh, 1,000 or 1,500 Islamic militias that are uh, roaming the country. And, of course, a, uh, another country that's completely awash in, in guns. So it's a, a natural for ISIS to uh, uh, get their sights on uh, Libya. So there we have it. We have uh, so, uh, so far uh, a claimed presence of ISIS in uh, uh, Libya. And uh, it will be interesting to see. Uh, if they make a concerted effort to uh, increase their presence there. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?